always in a lab with the fresh kicks on I'm at the MGM, rockin' MCM Bobby Sacks on my arm, it's only 10pm What's going on guys? It's your boy Mars back with another Clash Royale video And guys, in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at this off-meta balloon cycle deck This deck works really well in the current meta with a very fast cycle and anyone who wants to use Royal Hogs and then Earthquake your bomb tower, you can just fireball the Royal Hogs But anyways guys, let's get into the games But guys, before we hop into today's battle, I just wanna remind you to smash that like button and click the little fireball in the corner to subscribe to the channel doing those little things takes like one or two seconds but it benefits my channel tremendously and i really appreciate it all right first game here against vincent and i'm just gonna go in for some skeletons here to start this one off most likely here and we're gonna see what he's gonna have i think i'm gonna go musketeer in the back sometimes i hesitate to cycle musketeer in the back because they can punish opposite lane if they have certain cards but this guy's just going to fireball that, so I think we're going to go musket or uh, Lumberjack Balloon here, because if he doesn't have another small spell to take care of that Musketeer right away, he's going to be in trouble. He is going to log it, but it's looking like it could be 2.6 here, guys. Yeah, it is, and with he's going to have to Ice Spirit. <sighs> guys, how do we not get that hit right there? That's ridiculous. At least we made him spend pretty much all of his Elixir there on defense, and we're going to be able to counter this Musketeer easily. So it's looking like 2.6 here, guys. Shouldn't be too bad of a matchup, honestly. I wanted to play that bomb tower one tile lower because then the other tower would be helping out. But not a super big deal right there. Um, but should be a pretty easy matchup, honestly, because if he wants to break through, he's going to have to probably pre-fireball the, um, the bomb tower. But we're going to go in with Musketeer here to kill the Ice Golem and... Just see what he has here for defense. Um, I'm not going to really overcommit or anything. I think I'm just going to Lumberjack in the back, actually. And then I'm going to Fireball his Musketeer. It works out pretty well because then we can also just um, Barb Barrel here if he's going to protect it. He doesn't fully protect it, though, which is going to make it even easier. But, yeah, he's going to have to, like, pre-Fireball the Bomb Tower if he wants to break through. And even if he does that, we're still going to have other ways to prevent him from breaking through. Like if I put Musketeer over here on the right, he's not really going to be able to fireball everything. And so we just have to make sure we don't make any like huge mistakes and give him a big elixir advantage. And we should be chilling here, guys. He's going to log. Uh, I think I'm just going to Lumberjack here. And I think he's trying to outcycle me. But yeah, I'm just going to fireball the Musketeer. Every time he puts that next to his tower, we're going to fireball that for sure. And... Let's see, I'm trying not to play Musketeer. I'm just going to wait, leak a little bit of Elixir, and we're going to be able to kill the Musketeer. I think it's going to be worth it, yeah, because if then we expect the Fireball. He missed the Fireball on the Bomb Tower, and we're able to drop the Musketeer there as well. So I think if we go Lumberjack Balloon here, and then wait for the Fireball on top of the Musketeer and the Cannon. Yeah, so we're going to Fireball the Musketeer and the Cannon right here. And that was actually maybe not the best play, but... The Musketeer is going to die to that Death Bomb, and we're going to go in with the Bomb Tower here. And he's not going to Fireball that, so he's not going to break through. So we're chilling for the time being. This may actually end up devolving into just kind of a spell cycle, but I'm going to go Lumberjack Balloon here at the bridge, and we're going to see what we can make happen here. Um, I'm going to Fireball the Musketeer again, because I think then if the Balloon Death Bomb hits the Musketeer, it's going to die. But actually, his Musketeer is going to go opposite lane, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, so he is going to go opposite lane here. But again, I can just Barb Barrel the Musketeer. So he's not going to get too much value on the Bomb Tower. And we actually were able to get uh, Death Damage last time. And guys, this deck has a really fast cycle too. So even though he has 2.6, we're able to send in about as many Lumberjack Balloons as he can Hog Riders. And he's actually going to miss that um, play right there with the fireball. He tried to fireball it back, but he fireballed it towards his tower. So now all I need is just two fireballs. We're just going to go fireball skeletons and then try to... Yeah, I think he knows... Oh, he actually did not give up yet. <sighs> Guys, they just they don't know when to quit, do they? I mean, your tower's at 25 health, dude. I don't know why you're sending in a hog rider, but that's going to be GG well played easy matchup against 2.6 hog all right second game here against ikerson and let's see what we have in our starting hand we don't have lumberjack or bomb tower so if he went in for like a hog to start the game that would be a little bit unfortunate he's gonna go in for bomb or uh wall breakers though and i think the skeletons might actually stop those yeah that's gonna get no damage for him 
you can't really split the wall breakers into um into skeletons when they're split like that but we're gonna go lumberjack balloon here because he just went mega knight opposite lane and unfortunately i don't really have an answer for those baths for now so that's gonna be kind of rough but we get um a lot of damage still there somehow so i'm gonna go skeletons on right behind the mega knight where they can't be hit and i think yeah that's gonna be a clean counter right there his bar barrel is gonna get two hits but it's a small price to pay for the large amount of damage we got over there i honestly didn't even really see I think I'm just going to wait and fireball this. That was actually a pretty small window there to fireball those um, those wall breakers and the and the miner. But it's a plus one elixir trade for us. So I'm going to start to get back in this game because I was down a lot of elixir after that last push. But I think we're going to go musketeer over here because I feel like he might mega knight in front of that. <laughs> We're just going to do the bomb tower here and then try to get a lumberjack down as soon as possible on top of this musketeer because he's going to be able to kill the musketeer and then go back for the mega knight and that's going to be some clean defense right there i think i'm still down a little bit of elixir but he's going to let the lumberjack lock on for two more hits and we have him down to a thousand here guys and with the fireball we're going to be able to cycle that tower out he also just went for bats too so i could go in for um a push here soon I'm going to try to fireball this, but I might have missed the window that time. Yeah, so that's not great. We're going to go oops. I probably should have just uh, bar barreled on top of the the miner. But that was a, those are good timing there for the wall breakers on his part. Um, I'm just going to go lumberjack balloon here on the right. And we should be able to counter this mega knight here. Did I bar barrel in time though? Yeah, so I bar barreled to try to get the musketeer a lot more value on top of the mega knight. But guys, I think I'm going to be in big trouble here, actually. If the mini P.E.K.K.A. hits the bomb tower, we're going to be in huge trouble. Yeah, and I just choked this game away completely. Yeah, guys, that was not good. This is an L. Oh, what a choke. That is just an absolute joke, dude. What are you doing, dude? What the heck? Are you serious? Guys, are you serious right now? That guy was trying to BM. I, I don't know if he was trying to BM or what. Guys, that last game was absolutely hilarious. That's what happens when I don't think he really had any direct damage uh like spells or anything like a fireball and he just like started trying to mess around and play like his miner on the other tower but then he just didn't have enough defense for the balloon and that was awesome so this guy's gonna have a mega knight as well and this is gonna be a really tough counter right here i think i need to go bomb tower and then um skeletons behind once it jumps but they're going to get killed by the Electro Wizard, so that's going to be a bit of a problem. But guys, the Mega Knight actually took enough damage where we're going to be able to counter that. And I think I'm down quite a bit of Elixir right now, but we were able to get a lot of damage on the left. So this is going to be a really similar game to the last game, I think. Um, but yeah, he's going to go Baby Dragon. We're down like four Elixir right now. This is really not good. Um, but if we go... Does he have like a... No, he wouldn't have a Graveyard. That would be, that'd be crazy. I did not really mean to play that Ice Spirit that far off to the side, but I guess that's going to be fine. He's going to Goblin Cage really close right there, and that's just going to be a complete waste of Elixir. So if I go I go Lumberjack here, I want to do it in front of the Musketeer by a little bit, because if he Mega Knights, then he's not going to be able to hit everything. And now, guys, this is going to be pretty good for me. The Balloon's going to get a major connection right there, and if I go Bomb Tower here... Yeah, I'm going to go Bomb Tower here. Hopefully it pulls the Goblin Brawler. Yeah, so that's great. We're going to be able to counter absolutely everything here. Uh, take a little bit of damage from the E-Wiz. But yeah, we're going to give him the good luck and the Balloon Emote here, guys, because he was not able to defend that right side. As soon as he played that Goblin Cage, like right here, that was really not a good play on his part. Because now we're able to get his tower down to 666. And I think I'm just going to Fireball this. 
get some value on top of that tower, get it out of 666 range. And I think if we just go Musketeer here, we're going to be chilling. He, we know he wants to go in for Mega Knight, um, but I'm going to go Lumby Balloon here on the right, and we just have to get ready to defend the left. It looks like he's going to give up his tower there, so we're going to go Bomb Tower here and do an Ice Spirit to try to make sure the Mega Knight walks. And then I'm going to go with another Musketeer. And I think if the Musketeer can kill the Baby Dragon, we might be chilling. Ooh, Lumberjack. Nope, didn't get the Lumberjack down in time, guys. That was the main play there that I needed to make on defense. But he was only able to get me down to like 800. And we're going to be able to fully counter that Electro Wizard. And then go in for another Bomb Tower. But guys, he's got Graveyard. What the heck? I was suspicious of the Graveyard from the beginning. Um, but he that's going to be too little too late, I think. Uh, he might get my tower there, guys. Actually, no, he's not going to be able to. And we could have gone in right there if he wanted to poison. But we're going to give him the GG. I don't know why he waited that, until that late to play the graveyard. All right, hopping in here against LePager for what is probably going to be the last game of the video. We're going to give him the balloon emote. Just tip him off even more that we're going to be using balloon. And he's going to go in for a battle ram. So I'm just going to place the bomb tower. And we'll see what he does here. With that bomb tower charging in, it looks like he's just going to let that let that happen right there. So it's probably going to be a P.E.K.K.A. deck here, if I had to guess. It's going to go Bandit as well. So just classic P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Spam here. And I think we're going to have a good chance in this matchup. Ooh, he's going to give us some great Fireball value. I may have missed the Electro Wizard, though. Yeah, I missed the Electro Wizard, and that was... Definitely not great, but the Raged Musketeer is still going to get a hit off and force out a zap. So we're in great shape here, guys. The P.E.K.K.A. is going to be a bit of an issue once we get to double Elixir. But I think if we can keep um, playing well here in single Elixir, we're going to be able to take this game. And I'm up so much Elixir right now. Wow, guys, that poison is not a good, pl not a good play at all. We're going to be able to keep the Musketeer at like a quarter HP and go in for Lumberjack Balloon. And guys, I think he may have just lost this game. Yeah, he's gonna his P.E.K.K.A. is going to take so much damage, and he's going to um, also pretty much lose his tower. Ooh, we couldn't get that extra hit right there. If I go Skeletons here, though, I think we're going to be chilling. Go for Ice Spirit to make the Bandit walk. And then did I get the Bar Barrel down in time? Yes, we did, guys. We're going to have him all the way down to 900 with some very clean defense right there. And as soon as he played that P.E.K.K.A. to try to counter the Lumberjack Balloon, we knew we were going to be able to take that. If I go Lumberjack here quickly, I might be able to stop that. Yeah, I think if he had zapped there, he might have broken through. But that's going to be A-OK. -okay. He's going to go in for that Magic Archer. I was going to Fireball that, but I realized that um, the Lumberjack was just going to take it out. So now we're going to Balloon. Um, he's going to have to cycle back to his Electro Wizard. I think I'm just going to go Skeletons here. And guys, the Electro Wizard's not going to be able to stop that Raged Balloon. Um, but his Royal Ghost there is going to be a bit of an issue. I think if we go Bar Barrel here. Oh, I missed. Oh, no, I didn't miss the pull. So there we go. That was good. If I can keep the Musketeer alive for as long as possible, we're going to be A-OK. -okay. And he's going to go in for a Magic Archer there. I don't think that was a good play at all because we can just Bar Barrel that. And yeah, that Royal Ghost is going to go down as well. Guys, we played this game almost perfectly. He he did not have any chance of breaking through. And we're just going to go Lumberjack Balloon on the left right as he goes P.E.K.K.A. And guys, can we take his other tower? You know what? I'm just going to let that happen. I'm just going to fireball his tower. Guys, can we take it? Oh, we needed that one more balloon hit right there, guys so close anyways guys that's gonna wrap it up for today's video if you enjoyed today's video make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already but anyways guys hope you enjoyed those battles and i'll see you guys tomorrow with another video